Hi everyone, I am Dr. Bharat Purohit, Senior Consultant Cardiologist and Director of Cath Lab at Yashoda Hospital High Tech City. The fundamental reason for getting a heart attack is formation of a blood clot in the blood vessel which is supplying the heart. So, don't get confused that somebody has a blockage, just having a blockage is not same as having a heart attack. What happens is, there may be cholesterol deposit and these deposits happen in people who have got risk factors. So having a risk factor is not same as having a blockage and having a blockage is not same as having a heart attack. The risk factor which makes you prone to get blockages are diabetes, blood pressure, smoking, family history. So these are some of the important risk factors, sedentary lifestyle, obesity, all those things are there. So these people are prone to get heart attack and these people before getting a heart attack, they will get a blockage which is due to cholesterol deposit. So when there is a cholesterol deposited in a blood vessel, these blood vessels become unhealthy and because of any reason, if the blood clots over these blockages, you get a heart attack. And we know for getting a blood clotting, it takes only two to three minutes. So that's the reason why heart attacks are so sudden. You may be having a blockage for two years, three years, five years, six years. There are many people who have blockages for many years, but they don't get heart attack because they make sure that these blockages are strong enough and they don't develop blood clotting. These blockages are vulnerable blockages. And the things which make these blockages vulnerable are again, diabetes uncontrolled, smoking, sedentary lifestyle, undue stress which we take and our bad eating habits and not taking proper rest and not taking adequate exercise. So these makes these blockages very vulnerable and one fine day because of something they will rupture and the moment they rupture immediately the blood clots there and you get a heart attack. Make sure that you don't get a blockage by indulging in healthy activity, trying to control all the risk factors you have like diabetes, hypertension, cholesterol, obesity and your stress level whatever you are facing and then even if because of some unforeseen you still get a blockage make sure that these blockages they remain stable enough and strong enough so that even though you have a blockage you still don't get a heart attack so make sure you indulge in healthy activity and prevent yourself from getting a heart attack and don't get confused once again having a blockage is not same as having a heart attack so be safe be healthy all the best. Like, comment, and subscribe for more health updates.